Hey guys, it's Stacy from My Pussy Garden. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to be doing some plant styling around the bedroom. Um, I'm going to be starting off with the plant shelf or the wall shelf that you see here to the left hand side. And I'm also switching out the lampshade for the hanging light that we have um, by the window here. So this wall shelf to the left hand side I've always kind of struggled with in terms of how I want to style it. I never really had a chance to really think about it and work on it so we're going to do that together today in this video. There will be two parts to this video. This will be part one and then part two will style the um, my workstation that I'll be moving from downstairs to up here in the bedroom. So let's get started. So here I'm just switching out the different light bulbs to see which bulb I want to use. They're both um, warmish white toned light bulbs. One is a grow light and one is just a regular um, light bulb. I ended up going with just a regular light bulb. I kind of like the color of it more. It's a little bit more muted and I guess um, easier on the eye. So that's the one I ended up going with. Okay, now that the light is done, we're gonna tackle the wall shelf now. I'm just gonna remove everything on the top level. Um, the bottom level, I have my plants because I have grow lights on that level. Um, I did end up switching out one of the plants, but the main part that we'll be organizing or decorating will be the top level. Now you'll see me um, just playing around with some items I wanted to style with and you'll see me just kind of placing different things in different places on the shelf just to kind of get an idea of what I like. Um, the plant that you see me holding here is actually a full plant from Target. Um, it looks amazing. The reason why I have a full plant up there is because that corner does not get any light whatsoever. Um, it doesn't get any natural light, there's no grow lights up there either. So I have a full plant to just kind of give that illusion that I still have some greenery on that shelf. Ended up clipping a tiny piece of the faux plant to stick into one of the little jars. I felt like that would kind of balance out the kind of the greenery on top a little bit better. Um, the great thing about this specific fake plant from Target is that the foliage you can actually place back into the stem um, if you want to move it around. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to call it a day for now on this wall shelf. I'm not done yet, but we'll revisit it later in the video. Okay, so it's another day. Um, before we go back to tackling the wall shelf, I wanted to just hang up this macrame decor piece that I've had for a while now and I just couldn't decide where I wanted to place it. So I ended up hanging it in that corner there and I think I'm pretty okay with it for now. So the space that you see me standing in right now, that's where my new workstation or work desk is going to be situated and I'm going to style that up in the next video for you guys. And as I mentioned before, I did end up switching one of the plants on this shelf and this was the plant that I ended up with. Um, it's my Avo Syngonium. It's more balanced I feel like in terms of the space available on the shelf um, versus the original plant which was my White Princess Philodendron. I felt like it was a little bit too big for this area.
So you'll see here that I already started messing around with the top shelf again. Um, this again is not what I ended up with. Um, however, the, the fake plant on the top, I did end up putting it inside a terracotta pot. I felt like it looked a little bit better than the original um, pot that it was in or basket. I felt like it kind of clashed with all the rattan that I have going on already. I'm happy to say I think I'm finally satisfied with the way it looks on that top shelf and as of today as I'm editing the video I'm still very pleased with it company called Braid and Wood sent a, um, a plant decor piece which is a plant hanger for me to try out and share with you guys. They are a female run company and they are based in San Diego. So let's open up this package. So there's some um, Assembly instructions here and their logo and just like an info thank you card. So just so you guys know, this is basically what the plant hanger looks like. There are several colors. I chose, I believe it's called Light and Airy, which is basically a kind of white colored um, hanger, which I think will fit into my decor. So this is the ring. These are the, um, I believe this is the hanging string piece the kit. Okay, so I think that is it. So let's put the box away and try to assemble this. So this is where your um, plant will be standing on, basically. And let's see. So this hoop, I'm guessing, is going to be like this, right? Yeah. And then you just slide this. So there's little grooves under here, you can see. Oop. Are you focusing? There's little grooves here that will fit into the ring. Okay, let's see. Okay. There we go. And I think that is center. Yeah, that looks center to me. you back a little so you can kind of see better. So, this is the size large. So if you go on their website, they have different sizes. Um, they'll have dimensions there as well. I forgot the exact dimension of this one, but I think it might be a 12 inch, but I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Okay, and then 
this piece here is so it also has the anchors for your ceiling if you don't have a hole there yet um, but i already do so we just have to hang it up so, okay so the string is gonna go in this loop here And then in terms of the knot up top here where you're gonna hang it from I just made a simple knot oops can you see just made a simple knot like this and it's very easy to adjust if you want to make it longer or shorter so right now it just hangs like this so I don't know yet how long I want it but once I get to hanging I'll figure it out and I did um, check their youtube video on how to assemble this so this piece here actually just snaps right on to the to the um wires so if you guys do purchase this do make sure to check out their um video that shows you how to assemble it on their website and i'll have that linked below so let's go ahead and style this guy first hang this up and see how the height is and how long I want it. So I'm actually really really pleased with the way this turned out. Um, I ended up putting my Ripsalis Pylocarpa in this plant hanger and I think it drapes so nicely um, in it. This was the plant that I had originally envisioned to put in here and I absolutely love it. Well that's it for part one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in part two of my plant styling video.